Hey guys, what's up? It's Ricardo, JunkGuysDFW.net. Woo! It is Thursday, Thursday morning. It's it's still about, about 11 or 10.30, something like that. And I want to do a quick video and a reminder. April the 26th at exactly 11.30, I am going live with my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. I have a huge announcement and a special guest and you're gonna enjoy this. You're gonna enjoy this, but you're gonna enjoy this video, so let's start this video out really quick. April 26th, don't forget guys, 11.30, live YouTube video. But what I wanna talk about is condensing a trailer. Okay guys, condensing a trailer. This is my 16 foot box truck from what Frontier Electronic Communications. I don't know, I bought this truck really cheap. So what I wanna talk about is what was in this trailer yesterday and the day before. So there was over $1,200 in this trailer and I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so I did an office clean out what consisted of these fireproof cabinets, okay? And there they are, there's one, there's one, there's one, one over there, refrigerators and stuff. I charged $550 and I was able to put it in that trailer. That's the same trailer that I use, I haven't dumped it. $550, all right, let's go with that 550 and let's go to the hot tub I did yesterday. The hot tub I did yesterday is right here. It was in that trailer yesterday, and now it's in the dump trailer. I charged 450 for that, because I did the, the, the hot tub for 300, and then $150 with the extra stuff. So now we're at $1,000, $1,000. I'm gonna tell you, I have not dumped this trailer. The file cabins are here for 550. The hot tub in the wood is right there for 450. That's a thousand dollars. And yesterday, let me show you what else I did yesterday. I did a small house clean out for four hundred and fifty dollars. So automatically, I'm at one thousand four hundred and fifty bucks in this trailer. But where's all the trash? Look, what, what, where, where's all the trash? It was cardboard. So that bed, frame, the headboard, and that's a desk right there. And then the rest of it was cardboard and it reached to about this point, but the lady gave me 450 bucks. Actually the 50 bucks were for a tip. So 1,450 bucks. This morning, I took my Frontier truck right here to the cardboard recycling center. So I wouldn't have to dump and I threw all the cardboard that was in this truck from yesterday's job, the box truck. And I just went and recycled it for free. So I haven't been to the dump in two days. Why? Because the cardboard went to the recycling center. Here's the recycling fireproof cabinets and office furniture. And I might get to something else because there was other furniture too. And then if y'all walk a little further, check this out. There's the hot tub right there. The hot tub's right here. Let me show you the hot tub. Right here. 450, 1,000, 1,450 bucks. See guys, here's the thing about it. When I was doing the office furniture clean out and that thing was I think Monday when I did that I want to tell you something there was a lot of good stuff in there okay a lot of stuff that could be resellable okay I'm gonna tell you we unloaded that whole office and put away only the good stuff that could sell and here's one of the things that I took from that office furniture yeah believe that or not they have that in the office but let me show you where we were able to store some of the furniture and some of the goods that we got from there okay Check this out. This whew, is where we store all our stuff, okay? And this is where we put the furniture. So I wanna show you what we did with that furniture that we had yesterday. All right, so we're walking into the back room right now, able to get some of the furniture that we sold. Well, you know what, now they covered it. So there's some of the furniture, it's already covered. There's some of the other stuff that we picked up from that building. And there's the office chairs that we picked up from that office furniture clean out also. And it's all for sale right now, okay? So we picked, it's hot out here, let me just tell you that. We picked up all that stuff from the office furniture clean out that we did on Monday. Wait, no, was that Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday. And we're able to sell that stuff. We still haven't been to the landfill. And my trailer right now is about 15 to 20% full. Okay, it is 15 to 20% full, and I don't have to go dump. I'm sorry, I'm closing this door. I don't have to go dump, because it's unnecessary for me to go to the landfill. And that's how you save money, and time, and efficiency. So, 
find a way to condense your trailers. That's a flatbed right there, by the way. Uh, while I'm on the property, I'll just show you what's going on. These are our push carts. Whenever we get merchandise on the property, we use these push carts for inside the building. Our weather carts are the carts that we use for outside the building, and those are these right here. These are the new ones that we got from a junk removal, too. We use those. There's the box truck. Oh, there's the back of the thing. It's open. Okay. And this is where we store stuff, where we prep things before we put it inside the barn for sale. This is, customers aren't allowed to see this stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, guys. I just want to show y'all that having a piece of property has really changed what we do and what kind of business I run. A more profitable, a more efficient business. Okay. But overall, the whole idea of this business, this video was to show y'all condensing, recycling, reselling, and putting stuff in another trailer will save you money long term. I'm going to go pick up a gumball machine right now. I'll probably do a head cam about the video. I'm going to put it in here, and that is $150. So this trailer so far will be at $1,600 by the end of this day today with no dump fees at all. $1,600. I'm going to keep an update, see how much I can get out of this trailer without having to dump. I have not been in the dump in two days. And why? I decided to resell some of the stuff. I decided to recycle some of the stuff. And I decided to condense some of the stuff into TNT's trailer. So, anyway, guys, if you like these videos, subscribe. Don't forget that on April the 26th, this month, next week, 1130 Texas time, I have a huge announcement. It will benefit your small business. If you're interested, stay tuned. It will be a live YouTube video. I'll talk to you later. I'm sweating like a dog. Bye-bye.